Hey guys, so as promised, here is my mall haul, and it is one of my first videos and my first haul, so forgive me if I mess up and um, stutter a little bit, it's kind of like just put everything together and haven't really rehearsed this or anything. Um, and a little disclaimer, um, I bought everything with my own money, because my birthday was January 4th and I had a bunch of birthday money that I'd saved up, so yeah, let's get started. Um, the first store I went to was Lush. And they just put one in at my mall, and I was so happy because I love that store and don't get to go very often. Um, and so I ended up getting this little box, and it is the Out of This World box, and it was $13.95, and there was two different things in it. Um, and they were the Rockstar Soap and the Space Girl Bath Bomb. And the description for this soap is, it's pink and it smells of sweeties. The Rockstar Soap makes your hands and body smell like a candy shop. And the description for the bath bomb was, um, An astronomical bathing experience awaits. Fruity, sweet, and out of this world. And the smell is, like, radiating out from them. So I can't wait to use them. Um, now that I've hauled them, I can use them, and that'll be fun. I'm so excited for them. Um, the next store I went to was Bath and Body Works, and I went in there only expecting to buy two things. Um, one of them was um, a little thing to put in my friend's birthday present bag because her birthday is coming up in just like a week, I think. And I ended up getting her the Sweet Pea Handy Back Hand Sanitizer. It's a really good scent. It's one of their classic ones and it's one of their most popular ones. And it is sweet, but it's not too bad. It's not too strong. Um, and then my other intention was to get the Caribbean Escape Candle because I love that scent. I have it in the um, hand sanitizer and the scent portable, and they just come out with it um, in a candle for their new tropical collection, and it's, they've got this advertised all over. Um, but when I got up to the register, it was six fifty for the hand sanitizer and the candle, the Caribbean Escape Candle, and the lady told me that it would be better to do the three for ten dollars on the candles. And that's what I ended up doing. Um, so I ran back and got two more candles. Um, and the first one I got was, of course, the Caribbean Escape. And this one, uh, it just smells so good. It's sweet, but it's not too overwhelming. I don't know. Um, it smells like there's definitely coconut. Um, it's fruity, and I smell like lemon lime, maybe. I don't know. Um, the description for it is... Uh, dive into this blend of tropical melon, raspberry nectar, and lemon, mellowed by creamy coconut milk and raw sugar cane. That smells so good. That's like the inside. And I love the little pictures they put on the candles. And one of these alone is $4, so 3 for 10 is a really good deal. Um, the next thing I got is Tiki Beach. And this one is so hard to describe because it's just such a unique scent in its own. Um, I smell coconut and... Vanilla. It's a very clean scent. You know how like, people do like the detergent or whatever scents? Um, it's like that, but it's a little more sweeter and flavorful. And the description for this one is, A scent as warm as sun rays. A luxurious blend of toasted coconut, vanilla musk, orchids, and resort glamour. So there's coconut, vanilla, and a little bit of a floral scent in that one. The last one I got, I was not expecting to like because I thought it'd be overwhelmingly sweet, which I do not like um, if it's too, too bad. Um, and this one is the Palm Beach Cooler. And I don't want to make it sound like it's too sweet, but it almost smells kind of like a strawberry kiwi scent, but it's a really good strawberry kiwi scent. And the description for it is... This blend of bright berries, sugared grapefruit, and fresh coconut is perfect for a day of serious lounging. And all of the candles I got um, are from the Tropical Collection. And in all of their descriptions, they talk about coconut. So my total was $12.59, which is really good. Um, it would have been $6.50 just for one candle and the hand sanitizer. And doing the 3 for 10 deal, I would really recommend it. And you don't even have to do the Tropical Collection, but they all smell so good. Um, the next store I went to is Forever 21, and I'd gone previously and gotten some jewelry, and I'm going to show that first. And some of it um, I've already worn, so it's off the tags, and I don't have the prices, so I apologize about. Um, but this is the first thing I got. It is this really cool necklace, and it is on a gold chain, but it's thicker than normal. I don't know if you can tell, 
but it's thicker than most chains are normally. And this one, it's um, four blocks, and it spells um, L-O-V-E, so love, and the block goes silver, gold, silver, gold, with two gold beads at the end. And so it's really good you can wear it with anything because it is silver and gold. So that was awesome. And I don't think it was too expensive. I don't really remember how much it was. So sorry about that. Um, the next one I got was this really cool ring, and it was really expensive. It was 480 but it was well worth it. I get a lot of compliments on it. It is this really cool prism ring. There's two prisms and two pearls, and it's on this gold, rosy colored, maybe more like bronze colored band. And this one I can wear with a lot of different things. The next um, item I got was this really, um, it's really cute and it's really pretty, um, rose ring. It's got a little pink rosette, which is really hard, really hard to tell. Um, and it's on a gold band with three diamonds on each side. And I love it. Um, I loved it so much that on this, my most recent trip last night, I got another one. And it's on a silver band with three diamonds and a turquoise rosette. And the last thing I got on my first Forever 21 trip were these earrings. It's a little turquoise bead with diamonds all around it. And I can wear this with the turquoise rosette ring and a shirt I have. And I'll do like an outfit of the day or something with those. So on my most recent trip, I got these really cool um, gold anchor earrings. And my necklace is caught on it. Ah. So these gold anchor earrings. And to match with it, I got this black anchor necklace. And the earrings were $1.50, and the price of the necklace got scratched off, but I'm pretty sure it's $1.50 too, or $1.50 as well. <laughs> and the other thing I got was I really needed some new brushes, um, makeup brushes, and I got these Love and Beauty makeup brushes, I like reflecting light, with these really cool um, patterns on the bottom. I'm really excited about the eye, the eyelash brush. That'll be good. And then the last thing I got um, there was this really cute, um, I'm such a Disney fan. In fact, I'm wearing my Mickey Mouse shirt uh, today, and it's really big and frumpy, but oh well. Um, I'm such a Disney fan, and I saw this shirt, and I fell in love with it. It is this really cute Minnie Mouse um, cupcake shirt. And I live in Washington, so it's really cold, and I can wear these all through spring, so fall, winter, and spring, and it is this long-sleeved sweater top that is cinched at the bottom of the sleeves, and it's also cinched at the bottom of the shirt. And it is Disney, so of course I loved it, and it's this really cool red that I can wear with my black boots and just any pair of jeans. So I was really excited about that. And that was 1980. So it was kind of expensive, but it was well worth it. Um, the next place I went to, I didn't really buy, I only bought one thing at, and it's called Delia's. And there aren't too many of these around. Um, but I got these really cool socks. They're British flags. And I am such a fan of England. I love their artists. My family is from there. It's just a great country, and these were $6, so they were kind of expensive, but it was well worth it, and I hope they last a long time. So those were those. Um, next, I went to Love Culture, and I only got one thing there as well. I got this really cute necklace for $2.90, and it is a little four-leaf clover with a diamond. I'm trying to get as close as possible. And um, I can wear this with a lot of different things. Um, I love Ireland as well. I just love the UK in general, I think. So yeah, that was awesome. And then next I went to American Eagle, and I got this really cute tank top. It was very expensive, but I'm really hoping to get a lot of wear out of it. And it's this flowy yellow tank top with these really cute braided straps, which I love. And it'll be nice for my summer vacations and stuff because it's not too clingy. It's got a nice flowy material. 
And this was expensive. It was $24.95, but I'm hoping to get some good wear out of it. Um, I've been told I look good in yellow, so and I don't really have anything that's yellow, so now I do. And I ended up getting a 15% discount there. Um, finally, I went to Victoria's Secret in pink. And to add pink, um, I got some yoga pants. I have the bootcut pants of theirs, and then from Airpostle I have some cropped yoga pants, and I really wanted another pair of cropped yoga pants. So it's basically um, yoga pants that go down a little bit below your knees, so kind of like capris. And they didn't have much of a selection at mine, but these are really cute. I'm a size small, and so like I said, they cut off, and it's a really cute orange band, and it says love pink on the, the little butt area. <laughs> And I didn't mean to like flip you guys off, like my fingers, like I was tapping with my little fingers and that was not my intention. <laughs> um, and then I had a coupon for a free pair of underwear, which I'm not going to show. <laughs> I mean, I'm not weird about like bras or anything, but just underwear. And then they had a thing going on at the store where it was with um, any purchase, um, a pink, you got a free pair of um, headphones. And I'm sure they're not the best quality. They came in this little plastic, and you had your choice between pink, mint green, and orange. And I got the pink, just like that. Um, and I'm, like I said, I'm sure they're not the best quality, but oh well. <laughs> and then um, I ran over to Victoria's Secret on my way out, and I was able to pick up this lotion. It was a full-size lotion, and I'll talk more about it in a sec. Um, they had this rack, and I really wanted to do some more shopping, but the mall was closing, and we were in a hurry. Um, and it was 75% off this rack of different things. And this lotion was originally $12, and with 75% off, it came out to $3. And it is the Pure Perfection, and the scent is Red Plum and Freesia. It smells so good. Mmm, so amazing. And I noticed while I was waiting in the line, it is um, one of their special lotions um, that it has um, a tint and it's like a glow. And you see how it's like kind of brown on the container? It kind of gives you that golden shimmery tint um, on your skin because it isn't just a hand lotion, it's a body lotion. So I guess the idea is once you like rub it on your arms and legs, you'll have a natural glow. So that was $3, so I was really happy. And, um, oh gosh, I forgot to tell you the price of my leggings, or my yoga pants. Um, as always, the pink yoga pants are really expensive, and these ones were $34.50. That was expensive, but <laughs> it's well worth it, because I'll get a lot of wear out of those. And so that's it, and I hope you guys liked my mall haul, um, and it is my first one, and I'm going to be posting some more videos soon, and like and subscribe, and I'll be posting more, and thank you for any support you guys give me, and give me your feedback and comments on what you want me to post, so bye, thank you.